Hi, so I just thought I'd pop on, uh, say hello real quick and discuss what the difference between a freelance estate agent is and a high street agent. So as a freelance agent, I work for myself. Um, there is no team behind everything that goes on. It is purely me for networking locally, marketing, Instagram, Facebook, social media, now YouTube. Um, meeting clients, meeting buyers, meeting sellers, it's all me. So with most high street agents, you would make a phone call, you'd make an inquiry, you've probably seen their boards around and you just navigate to them naturally. Um, but what I find is, and when I've actually undercovered high street agents, um, they will obviously have the person come out, value your property, and then pass you around from team. And you might find that on Saturdays, there are Saturday staff that come in and show your home. The trouble with that is they're not the ones who've met you and discussed your property and been around to know everything. So with me, you speak to me on the phone. We have those initial inquiry chats. I come out, value the property, do all the viewings, the whole sales progression, um, and I'm on hand pretty much 24-7 which is great. The, the, a lot of clients have now become friends and often pop in for coffees, glass of wine, take them to the pub. Um, but it also means I strongly network within Surrey and very heavily where I live. Um, I have collaborations with a car dealer. So if a property is valued over a million pounds, I have the ability to request that vehicle be on the drive for photography day which just opens the door marketing wise, etc. I then go to events locally um, and mix with a lot of clients through that process as well. So the market at the moment is tough, especially here in Surrey. We're seeing quite a hit in the Southeast for selling of houses. We've seen about a 6% property reduction in price since August 22. Um, which means sellers have three options at the moment. Sellers can choose a price that they don't want to go below for selling their property and understand if they're going to stick to that, that they may well have no viewings. Um, and we can have the chats, we can discuss price points, etc. Um, which I always do. And I'll always explain the algorithms behind Rightmove and Zoopla and how they work and why there's a certain process that I follow. Um, and it helps anyone who's coming onto the market who doesn't understand the the behind the scenes as to why there's certain processes that I'll do. Um, I'm not sure that every agent explains that process, um, but that will all be laid out in an initial phone call or face to face when we meet. I'll always try and explain what the process looks like. So sellers can choose that they want to, you know, if their house is valued or they they have to sell. For eight hundred and fifty thousand, and they're not going below that. But actually, the market value is reduced locally. Um, you know, you you just have to understand that. Unfortunately, you probably won't get any viewing requests coming through or any offers coming through. The other option is don't list at the moment. Um, it's brutal. Uh, the market is expected to pick up in about eighteen months. So, if you're in a position where you've no reason to sell. Unfortunately, as an agent, <laughs> we're not in the best market. And my advice would be hold hold, hold off from listing at the moment. Or you're in a position that you want to sell for family reasons, um, for relocation, work purposes. There is a reason to sell. And we have to understand that whatever your neighbour may have sold an identical house for last year, it's not going to be the price you get this year or any time in the near future, unfortunately. Um, so that that's kind of where we're at at the moment, market wise. Um, and it is it's a slow process. There's a lot of stock out there at the moment, so to speak, um, and not many buyers coming through. And what we need is more first time buyers. Um, but obviously, interest rates and everything else has scared everyone off at the moment. So we're reaching a bit of a stag stagnant market currently um but yeah a bit more about me so i freelance as an estate agent which means i don't earn any money 
Um, I also don't have targets like most high street agents. Um, so you're not on a complete wheel of just being a tick box exercise. Um, I charge 0.75% sales fee, only payable on completion. Um, and I also donate £250 to a charity of the seller's choice, also payable on completion. Uh, times are hard at the moment out there for a lot of charities and fundraising. Um, and there's a few close to my heart or there's a lot that I partner with and can recommend if you don't have one you, you'd like to choose. Um, but yeah, it's just my way of giving back, um, especially if maybe you've lost a loved one and the house sale is because of that then then obviously we can we can make sure money goes to a charity that supports uh, a member of family who's unfortunately passed away um so yeah so i don't earn <laughs> unless i sell your house um i also am a private pa to a client um i also property manage a few properties um, and just i'm generally running around 24 7. um but yeah that's just a little bit more about me and how it works and why I'm slightly different to your high street agent.